Okay guys, so let's do some some painting with the Yogi Golf Swing. I haven't hit any shots guys, only those couple of shots I hit off the mound over there showing you um, those different lies and what have you. So, And this was what Yogi was renowned for. He could get out of his car, which he did plenty of times, and he would just walk over, pick up a club and just rip one. When you see him do that, where he plays that, that, that record nine holes on that, that, that video, that old video on, uh, on YouTube, he gets out of his car. It shows him getting out of the car, putting his shoes on, and I think, I'm just trying to think of the, the guy that carried his clubs, a former world uh, uh, fighting champion of the, of the era. It's Barney Ross? I can't remember. Anyway, he takes his clubs, they go over to the first tee, Yogi's know, got a tie in it, and just tees it up and rips it. And he went around and played that nine holes, I think eight under par or something, for that nine holes, but you see him doing it. And there's no warm-up, nothing, he just rips it down. And he did that all the time. That's what that's what that's what Sneed told me, and, and and the great Australian player Norman von Ryder. Norman said I heard about him, and I went and watched him. Uh, one day he was he was um, I knew he was going to be at this uh, driving range doing some stuff, and he just walked in out of his car. He used to have an, a Cadillac, walked in with just um, and put his shoes on, stood up, and just started ripping you know, 340 yard drives. And Von Eider said he didn't know who I was. And, uh, uh, and he said, I introduced myself to him, and then I watched him for two hours. And this was the most amazing thing I'd ever seen. And Norman Von Eider was the most fearless gambler of all time, guys. He, was, he had a lot of racehorses here in Australia. He, would get, he backed his ability against anybody. He played Hogan in money matches and beat Hogan. He played with Hogan on the US tour for a, few, for a few months. And Hogan said to him, Norman, if you stay over here on the tour, you'll be the second highest prize money winner to me. He and Hogan got on really good. And Norman thought, uh, Norman von Eider said to me, he said, Hogan was no better ball striker than me. And that's how, that's how Norman von Eider thought. And he said, I, I could beat Hogan, he could beat me. Uh, he said, I beat him in money matches. Didn't play much golf, never played hardly at all in the US. Because uh, he always wanted to come home to Australia to his racehorses. But, um, but Norman, uh, Norman von Eider said that Kian Yogi was the only guy he would never play a money match against. And I said, why was that, Norman? He said, because I would never have been able to beat him. I said, why is that? He said, because he would never hit a bad shot. You would expect someone to have an off day. He said, he would never have an off day. I saw that after I watched him for the first time. I thought, this guy will never, ever miss a shot, and he'll never have an off day. And he said, he hasn't got a weakness. There's not one weakness in his game. And that was from one of the greatest ball strikers Australia's ever had. Um guy that should have won the British Open but cut his hand with a cutthroat razor the morning that he was about to tee off. He was, you know, they used to shave with cut razor and he was shaving in the shower and he dropped it and cut his hand. And uh, had to play with his hand all bandaged up in the last round. But he won lots of tournaments in Australia and was a great player. And, and even when, when Norman was, you know, 75 years old, I mean, he could still, the noise he made when he hit the golf ball was amazing. But he just said, flat out, said, Hagen wasn't any better ball striker than me. And he said he wasn't any better ball striker than Byron Nelson or Sam Snead. He said he was, um, he just became an amazing player, he said, but, and he had great discipline. So the point I'm making there is that if, when Norman von Eider says that Count Yogi, you wouldn't play no matter who you are. You, and, and Yogi put out the challenge to Hogan, to Nelson, to Snead, and Snead said it. He said, we wouldn't play him. He said, because of a waste of money. We'd just be throwing money away. He said, just kick our butt. And he said that point blank. He said, he would just kick our butt. We were just, no point in going playing because he's not going to have an off day. They all said that. Byron Nelson said that. So it was a tragedy that he never got to play. Okay. So here I am, dead calm. Got my yogi grip. Got five on here, guys. First full shot of the day. That is dead straight, probably fourth groove, but just absolutely a 95 percenter. Okay, I need more, more, more uh, handle drag on that. <clears throat> now that's right on top of the other ball. I'm watching where the other ball is there. 
It's about eight feet away from it. Might even be closer than that. But it never moved. And, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, Yogi Loose at the moment. Now see guys, I'm firing the club up there and I'm finishing high and I've got a bit of weight off that trail side. But I've still got plenty of weight on it when I hit the ball. But the ball is starting exactly on the same path, in to out. And of course Yogi hit up on the ball. You know, that, that ex, when he used to do his uh, shows, his clinics, he used to hit, he had a steel plate and it had a little, a little concavity in it. He used to put a golf ball on the steel plate and hit shots out of it with irons. Just whip them out of a, off a steel plate. The guy that I know that had lessons off him told me that. He said he actually did that. He showed me that. Hit shots off a steel plate. And he was hitting like two irons off a steel plate. And the ball was sitting in a little depression so it wouldn't run away. And he said all he could hear was the golf ball being hit. Yeah, so he was amazing. Okay, guys, a lot of people out there that poo-poo Count Yogi and say, that, you know, uh, he wasn't that good, and, but, you know, like, he wasn't allowed to be good. He wasn't allowed to play the tour, guys. I believe it. You've got to believe in something. I believe it. Okay, now, if I could do that smoother... I can do that smoother and see see the ball hit like that now my swing is not long I want to make it longer and the only way I'll make it longer is I have to swing slower so I have to I have to handle drag that do that handle drag much much much, much slower like that now guys, it's still in here, 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 still in here. We're heading into a little bit of wind, so it's going to keep it up there a little bit. But I normally don't hit the ball very high. Because A, I don't have a lot of speed, and I don't hit up on the ball. I'm level through the ball, but here I'm actually trying to hit up on the ball. I'm trying to give it an uppercut. Okay, try and, try and do a perfect shot. Now do an infallible mental routine. And see, I've still got this lead shoulder blocked. That's what I like. Firing up at that lead shoulder is not rolling off to the left. Whereas Yogi was different. Yogi finished like this, chest facing the target. He was entirely different. Now they're perfect golf shots, guys. Absolutely perfect. What does it feel like? Feels loosey goosey. Feels, feels like that. But you know what? I haven't got as much of that. I haven't got as much of that loosey goosey in it that I need. Because Yogi had. Yogi was a quintessential. He was a quintessential. Um, Lucy Goosey. It's the same shape every time. Now all I've got to come to grips with is is lengthening the golf swing. Taking advantage of the of the handle drag. I have to be able to handle drag it more because that will give me they'll give me more negative load which will give me a propensity to have more positive load now I need to do that so I'll try and do that
Come on, James. Oh, guys. God. Still in here, 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 still in here. Now, those still in the airs, <clears throat> there would have been three less of those with my old swing. Because I really, this five iron's going as far as a nine iron. But it's going every bit as far as the four iron. Sometimes further than a four iron. So all I have to really concentrate on, guys, is, is really um, uh, just lengthening the golf swing. We'll just hit a couple of drivers. <clears throat> Beautiful day here today guys, just a normal, just a about a you know, about a 15k headwind, hardly anything at all. Now with the driver of course you get a lot of um, you, you should get a lot of uh, a lot of paintbrush. Five o'clock nose. Now as you can see guys, the club comes through with a lot of velocity and hits me here. Because it's, it's got so much velocity. It's motor. See if I can get a lot of, uh, a lot of handle drag. It's pretty strong, it's come up to about 20 k's now, into us now, but that ball is hardly moving. All right, we'll see if we can get a five o'clock nose and a lot of paintbrush. It's dangerous here, guys. Do you hear that? But the ball went straight over, over my head and has just hit that tree at the back of the camera, just as on the downswing. There's a guy from way over there, under the covers, hitting at this green. God, I can't believe that. I mean, that guy's had to hit that 60 yards to the right of where he's aiming. Wow, scared the daylights out of me. Okay, come on. You're all in the same place. See how quick I get on with it, guys. Okay, there's a lot of firing of the trail side in that golf swing. But the ball just goes high and it would never ever go to the left, ever. Now I'm getting on with it, 
quickly, but I'm not smooth enough in the getting on. I've got to get on with it much smoother. Okay, so come on. Have the, the yogi smoothness. So another ball just landed over there. Come on, Jade, before you get killed. I really went after that and lost my balance a bit, but I just wanted to see how hard I could actually hit it. Guys, you can hit it so hard it's never going left. Just such a great insurance policy. You'll never hit the ball left. Now my quick activation off the ball is quick and jerky, whereas Yogi's was uh, was 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 smooth and, and and precision perfect. Now I have to learn that because the swing is so loose feeling in the grip, it makes me get a little jumpy. And look where I am here, guys. Look. That ball's still in there, 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 still in there. Wow. Now I'm hitting that hard. And, and it's a bit ungainly. But guys, it's just going exactly the same direction every time. And we've got a... Now that wind is left to right into us. And it's only just moving it. A couple of yards. Come on, Josh. Okay, rolled out of that one. I just regripped it on the back swing. But the good thing is, the roll out there still only pushed the ball about 10 or 12 yards to the right. But I completely lost the grip on the back swing. Okay, th this is just, I'm just trying to see, you know, how I can. Uh, how loosey goosey I can get, okay. A little bit of commitment. That's perfect. Wow! That is just perfect. That's great flight. I mean, I really, I never have that type of flight on my golf ball. That is a different ball flight. Well, I haven't got enough hit up. That was just fantastic, that. And that was even better. You know why you say, okay, Jay, this is awfully quick. You put down, you're gone. You know why? You know the good thing about that, guys? It's exactly the same quick every time. I'm not getting over the golf ball and getting in here and going into a, uh, you know, a, a mental changing of plan. I'm not doing any of that. Just getting in here and I'm just gone. I know what I want to do before I swing the golf club. I've seen what I want to do, which is what Yogi did. Now Yogi, in actual fact, did this guy. He saw his target, looked at his golf club, saw it there. Saw it there. Came and put the club down. The ball can never go there. I think I could stay here with a million dollars of my own money and bet someone a million dollars that I could hit a hundred drives and none of them will go left of that sign there. They just won't do it. The swing's not designed to do that. Okay, last shot. See it? Just 
just push that because I didn't have enough yeah, it's probably 15 yard push it just never had enough uh, five o'clock nose on it you know why because I'm not thinking of it and and that's out of the protocol you can't do that you've got to think about that in the protocol well I'll go through the full protocol here come on Jade in the window of the red car five o'clock nose Go in the window. Go in the window. Well, guys, it was right on line for the window, but it just dropped short. There's a little old car up here that we have out on the range. The passenger side window there it was going. That's what I aimed at. It went straight at it, but it just dropped short. It's a bit hard to get there into this uh, little bit of. Well, it's about. It's not that much now, but with these range balls, it's just not on there. But that was so straight. Last shot. Okay, this is really. Wham, bam, thank you, man. That's how I learn things. And every one of those shots, guys, I aimed at a different, specific place. Just rolled out of that a little bit and just pushed it. Probably about a 12-yard push. No 5 o'clock nose. Okay, just learning it, guys. But do you want to put that in your channel lock? Yeah, why not? You want to, I wouldn't say it's a prerequisite, but I'm going to incorporate a tailored version of that because I really think that it's um, uh, it's beneficial to me because I get that type of ball flight and that distance. My right, guys, just a just a uh, just a little bit of background on, on on Yogi and how we can incorporate into Channel Lock. There's some good things in Yogi, some amazing things in Channel Lock. And I think we can blend them together. What you saw there is not, it's not the finished product, and it won't be like that. It'll be a much more tailored version of that. And I was going helter skelter there, but not one of those shots would not have been playable on the golf course. Not one. They'd all been on the fairway, and most of them very close to the middle of the fairway. Okay, guys, we'll uh, we'll do some more maybe tomorrow. Yeah, Mr. X is coming tomorrow, so we'll do some tomorrow.